and the transition for the national teams especially women's rugby has proved uh, difficult uh, for some time and the kenya laonese still struggles to replace some of uh, its uh, top uh, stars now jeff mogire was in isinia where the national olympic committee of kenya held uh, the junior uh junior athletes camp and uh, filed the following for the longest time must struggle to match the standards set by men's rugby in Kenya. Women have struggled to stand out on their own. The National Olympics Committee of Kenya knocks after school camp might as well be a once and for all solution. At Marishal School in Senior Kajeda County, they have assembled the best to build on the future. Me, I have gained a lot because when I came here, I used to play for one position which is fly off. Like for now, I can play for the park side, which is the forward, like prop, hooker, and also I can play as a, as a scrum off. Yeah, so I've gained, I've gained a lot of skills which I didn't knew. Uh, I think this is the right thing and no kwame mwakufanya. Kuchukua youth mapema na kutweka place moja, to train pa moja. Yeah, for youth it's good, because in future we we'll gain more. The camp is serving the best rugby players from across the country and preparing them for the future. Just seeing the young girls coming up and trying to break in the ceiling and trying to transition from the under 18 to the national team because that's a very big gap. And if you can see, we don't have, there's a huge gap between the national team and the under 18. So this will be the first ever under 18 going for Commonwealth. So it's a big thing for them. It's a big thing for, the, for Kenya Rugby Union. It's a big thing for the youngsters who are coming up. Players from this camp will represent Kenya in the Commonwealth and Africa Youth Games scheduled for 2023. You know we are a talent-rich country in across all sports. So we need each individual talent to be able to put it in a 10-year program. And then within the 10 years, which practically we are talking of 2032, then we can be able to expect champions. For the girls attending this camp, the future is bright. I want to play for the Kenya national team, which is called Lioness, before I proceed to the next step. Yeah. The National Olympics Committee of Kenya is stretching its limits for glorious days ahead. They need support to score on their target. Jeff Mogire, KTN News, 